Welcome to Audubon at Home. My name is Iana, and today we are reading The Bugliest Bug by Carol Diggory Shields and illustrated by Scott Nash. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? Could you be the bugliest bug of them all? A contest for insects. News buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young damselfly Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would still like to see who the bugliest bug turns out to be. Fire Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly, a beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flittery, jittery, hoping for prizes. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever have dreamed, from tiny noceums to fat termite queens. Some had great pincers, some had proud horns, some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Dilly crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings that are tied to their backs with gosmer strings. Click beetles clacked and whirligigs whirled. Crickets sang solo and swallowtails swirled. A ladybug curtsied, tumblebugs flipped. The judges applauded, then licked their lips. The judges looked shifty, so Dilly kept squinting. Then sure enough, she spied their fangs glinting. She yelled, we've been flim flammed, bamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. The big judge hissed softly. Too late for you all. It's curtain time now, and it started to fall. Folks, he continued, we liked all your acts, but we think we will like you much better as snacks. The bugs froze in fear. This looked like the end. But Dilly thought quickly and shouted out, Friends, there's only one way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what each insect does best. So... Charge! yelled a squadron of swift soldier flies, and bombardier beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled up through the hole in the net. It's working! It's working! We'll beat those creeps yet! The army ants marched, and the mantises prayed. Keep fighting, called Dilly! Don't be afraid! Then the stink bugs united, gave off their worst smells. P.U. We give up, the spiders all yelled. They scuttled away. Hurrah, cried the bugs, giving high sixes and fuzzy worm hugs. The cicada piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. The contest is over, and we have a winner. Without this young damsel, we'd all be dinner. She might be young, and she might be small, but Dilly's the Bugliest bug of us all. The end. Hey, Iana, I heard you were reading a story about insects. I love insects, and I was hoping that I could teach you and all of our friends out there the insect song. It's one of my favorite songs. Have you ever seen it before? I have not, but oh. I'd love to learn it. Yes, I'd love to teach it to you. So you and I both have puppets of insects right now. And we want to use these to help us with learning the insect song because the insect song tells us about what insects have on their bodies. They've got a head, they've got their middle part called a thorax, 
and this end part called an abdomen. They also have two of these antenna. They've got two of these eyes and they have six legs. Let me teach you the song. So in this song, we're gonna become like the bugs, like the insects. So we have to find our head, we have to find our thorax, and we have to find our abdomen, which we're gonna shake a little bit in the song, okay? So we'll go over all those parts. The tune is one that we might be familiar with. It's the tune of head, shoulders, knees, and toes. How about I sing it, and then we'll sing it together. Does that sound good? That sounds great. All right, Lisa. and you can join us too. We hope you will. So it goes like this. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. In the middle part, we count the rest of its body. Two eyes, two antenna, four wings, six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Want to try it together? All right, let's do okay. it. And I, I, I fooled you in the middle. I went to my abdomen or my eyes before my antenna, but we'll get it right this time. All right, on three. One, two, three. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Two eyes, two antenna, four wings, six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. All right, I think we'd, I'd like to challenge the audience out there. I want us to do it faster. Ooh. You think we could Hold do it on. a little faster? I bet you could do it faster. I bet we could do it faster. All right, on three. One, two, three. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. abdomen. Two, two eyes, two, two antenna, four wings, six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. abdomen. Nice job! Yeah. Hi, sixes to you. And thank you everybody for joining us at Audubon at Home.